My name is Scorpio. This is welcome to Scorpio's Bong and Blog. And tonight I'm sitting in the room, well, the sex dungeon. Yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, I hope some of you motherfuckers pray for me, dude. I sent that shit out on Facebook. And for all those of you that did pray for me, y'all suck. But I'm still here. No, I love y'all. Love all you motherfuckers. But right now, I'm with Vices I Admire. Vices I Admire. It's not something I do. I mean, it is, but better yet, it's these motherfuckers. Now, I'm going to let them introduce their damn self because I'm tired of talking right now. And I'm Dave. I'm Alex. I'm Dan. <laughs> that <laughs> shit <laughs> was quick. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now. Not, not pictured as Scott. Yeah. He's not pictured as Scott. He's, uh, he's with us in spirit. <laughs> he's in a better place. Yeah, probably somewhere with his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, jeez. I want to say, is he dead? Is he in Vegas? Is he... What is he doing? All right, so they know who you are now. And for those of you who don't know, that's Dave. That's... Alex. Say it again. Alex. One more time. Alex. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I did that. I'm Dan. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, Dave, what are you doing in the band? I sing. I sing. You sing? Yep. Play some guitar on occasion. Usually, I usually play guitar, actually, these days. It's been a while since I haven't had a guitar. He does on more stage. than that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, other stuff. Yeah. He does all the graphic design as well. So That's true. All the stuff you see, all the posters, all the, all the CD covers, all the art, that's him, too. So. All this shit up in here? That, 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 and think? that, and those. Not that V though. I think Alex drew that. I yeah. drew that. Yeah. You drew what? That V right there. You drew that V? I did. That's my graphic although, design. Vaginas? Although Dave, Dave did design the V logo though. That's true. That's true. Which That's is also over there. there. Yes. And, and even though I oh. painted that on there, it was Dave's design. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. The There's big old V. Yep. For. <laughs> For, for vices I admire. Who wrote vaginas? I mean, yeah, yeah that's a good thing. I, I mean, I I'm all remember. about vaginas. You pro vaginas, dude. Yay, love pussy. But that's just rude. <laughs> the first day on the job, yeah. It yeah, was, it was like our first yeah. rehearsal. Yeah. Right, it was, man. it was. Yeah, that was. That's, yeah, that's, it that's, was. That's, that's just that's the fucking first thing rude, I wrote, dude. Oh God, Mark had, the whole time Mark had too. messages for me on the board. Did, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. What do you, do you and have? I felt like it was like a passing of the torch. What did so he I say? I erased his messages and I drew. What did he say? Says, his messages. Says, oh, one of them I said, admire now. Vaginas, vaginas I admire. Oh. Yeah. And the other one said, um, I don't know, he said something, 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 Alex, Dave Grohl rocks. I don't remember the first part. I took a picture, though. I'll have to find it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll dig it up. You do that. You, you took a side story. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. you took a picture <laughs> or something that you erased. Yes. Well, um, our, old, uh, our old drummer um, apparently wrote some messages for Alex. Yes, I remember board. that. Yeah. Uh, what did yeah. they say? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Some of them were funny, weren't they? I have a picture somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, so he'll, he'll dig it up. Yeah. But then he wrote vaginas. But here's the part that I forgot. Here's my bad, though. It says vaginas I admire. Now, you tell me, which is, is a better name now. Come on. You, you, this got to be close. Vices I admire. Vaginas. I, I mean, think of your album covers. Well, it would be a niche audience. Yeah, Very, <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe Georgia O'Keeffe could do our covers at that point. <laughs> I think we'd pretty much, you know, we decide who we were selling our music to. If yeah, that was our name, and that'd be it. I mean, it's yeah. a thought. I mean, yeah. come on, man. It's Plus, I mean, Vices I admire covers so many more bases. Yeah. Not only can you enjoy vagina, but there's so many other things you can enjoy. Okay, so what are some of your favorite vices it's that my, you should uh, never tell anybody? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have brought that. Y'all, hell yeah! <laughs> I'm getting all you motherfuckers now. Come on, tell I me, like, tell me. I like, I like beer. I Be like bad horror movies. Okay. He loves bad horror movies. I've got a yeah debilitating addiction. To popcorn. I guess that's he not really good. Popcorn. No, yeah, you know what, dude? No, yeah, I'm. A, I'm my a stories fool. are bad. I'm yeah, sorry. God, I'm Move on to so somebody gonna, with something. I'm so gonna fuck. I'm so oh, PG. God. Jesus, so but if you were hearing his music, I you really would be like, like popcorn. No, dude, I do. Really? It's really good. Man, you ain't got, where's the popcorn? 
Uh, I've got some of. I didn't make any, but I, I can. He makes like make movie. He ma- yeah, he makes movie. Uh, get like popcorn. movie theater grade popcorn out of the same like ingredients and stuff. Oh, like oh ooh! All right, you know what? We're gonna take a break here in a few, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> because, no, this motherfucker gonna make me some popcorn, and yes, I'm gonna come back eating some motherfucking popcorn. I hope you got some great Kool Aid too. I don't have any Kool Aid. You ain't got no goddamn Kool Aid. Well, see, he almost there. He almost there. All right, so his his love is popcorn, horror movies, and beer. I'm sure. I thought he was horror gonna say bad whores, but bad I, you know, whores. You know what yeah, I mean? Horror, but bad horror, horror movies. Horror. But I mean, like, who really want a good horror? I mean, that's not a good horror. That's just like you know. Well, that's well, that's an escort. A good. Yeah, a good, a good horror. horror, and they cost way too much money. Them. Hell no, dude! You could buy a fucking Hyundai for the price of that <laughs> bitch, dude. And a Hyundai at least gonna last you like six months. That's like what twenty four <laughs> hours yeah. at the most. And then you gotta buy the bitch Denny's. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not even sure, like, with escorts, if sex is guaranteed. Oh, for that, man. You know what I mean? Shit, dude. I, it, feel like, I feel like it's just the girlfriend experience. The right? girl? Oh, so she's going to bitch at right. you? Right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not big of that. Are you talking about legitimate escorts? Or yeah, like, actually, like the real practice no, of escorts? No, legitimate escorts. I don't think that you <laughs> are guaranteed sex, are you? Like, it's I don't. Like, you, well, know, you come. They're, they're very know. attractive. You guys. Uh, Dude, I, they, I, when I was a cab driver, I had a regular that was an escort. And she was beautiful. I mean, like, this, she's right. really cool. And and I, I'd never understood why she wanted to do what she did. But I almost guarantee that chick was freaky. And I no. knew she did some stuff so you know they I guess might, it's, I, I like think it's, it's just a matter of how much you pay is what I think right. I don't know never done it never will never gonna pay for sex well that's it well, I mean yeah. okay, okay, get married. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say so that I didn't say <laughs> that I did not say that I did not say that he heard that yeah. came out of somebody else's mouth way over in the other room somewhere yeah. ventriloquist and shit okay so Alex what's, what's, what's your advice I'm boring, man. I like drinking beer with Dave. I like eating popcorn with Dave. Oh, no. He also sleeps 18 hours a day. Or is it not 14? I sleep a lot. He does. He sleeps a lot. He needs to get his cat rest. I don't know if that's a vice, though, because look at this. That's not a... That's it's sleeping? Not, it's not unhealthy. Vices have to be unhealthy, right? Yeah, well, you sleep. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, oh, yeah, it helps. I mean, come on. Like if you're going to have a vice, that, it, it should be unhealthy. It, otherwise, it's just a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, dude? That's not a vice. That's okay, just something you do. Man is a tennis ain't a vice. I mean, drinking and playing tennis, that's a vice. Yeah. And doing it every Saturday while you watching, you know, like bam, hitting kids in the head with the tennis ball. Well, no, that's just mean. Yeah. But it could be, it could be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, come it's on now, time, yeah. especially if they're little turds. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you want to bang some little bastard upside his head. Go pow! Yeah, steal my bike next week, motherfucker. <laughs> and not that I know anybody that did that. I'm just you want a second pony, you little <laughs> punk gang? You and your freaking first world problem. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Dan's answer to this question. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, Go really? on, Dan. Oh, you were the absolute hassle, and you got a beer in your hand, and I've heard you talk out on the front porch, so I know you got issues. <laughs> Please don't let me down. Please don't let me oh, down. I'm, I'm sure I won't. I'm sure I won't. Okay, so what well, are you I'm, like, I'm hoping I won't. What's your vices, man? <laughs> Let's see. What are my vices? I think I would call music my vice, one of my vices. And, uh, and... I don't know. Yeah, it, it, I would call music my vice because it's like it's what, dominating. Music like, or something like that. I mean. That's that's kinky. Um, <laughs> not, definitely just... not my kind of thing. But I don't know. I, I would say that you know playing music is one of my vices because it's 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 such a such a part of my passion that it's gotten in the way of normal productive normal people's lives. You know, it's like it's like okay. So this is this is what it is. You know, okay, like all right, like, all right, bring it what down. do you do? What bring do you do? It, 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 here's here's a good example. All right. Movie Fight Club. Oh, what do you do? You graduate high school. You go to college. I get out of job. Graduate know, college. What do I know? Get a job. What do I do? I don't know. Don't get know, married. married. And then you realize you're a thirty year old kid. Is what he says in the movie. And and, yeah. and 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 it's just like how everything is just expected to be this normal thing. I've been doing music and been passionate about it all my life to the point where I've had relationships go bad because like I want to breed and have kids and this and that and, and like I don't think that you're going to be a good father of me around because you're playing music all the time I'm like anyway so you know so was normal, good. so, so was I, would, good. I would say that that you know I've sacrificed a lot for uh, for music to the point where somebody would call it maybe an addiction maybe it's enough to be considered a vice you know and and I don't know that I would have it any other way because I would think I would live with so much regret if I had not pursued music, if I wasn't pursuing music. 
that weren't pursuing music to use proper grammar. But it's it's like... Do, do, do you not know what fucking show you want to use proper grammar? What the hell is wrong with you? There's probably anyway, one person my, 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 my bad, my bad. I, so, I interrupted yeah. him and shit. That was rude. Yeah, but anyway, so that's... I, I would say music is probably, is, is, is probably considered one of my vices. I do enjoy... Like, lately, I've enjoyed drinking way too much. Um, uh, but... Uh, and there's I, I, beer on you know, the way, this, right? That's the thing. Like, oh yeah, there's beer on the yeah, way. See, there's, there's more beer on the way. way. Yeah, and there's beer coming yeah, too. Yeah, so. true. If you got a beer or a bottle, will we come back? Tilt that shit up, man. Yeah, well, tilt it up now, now if you want to. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, tilt. Drink it up, man. There you go. Don't hide. There you go. I don't know what. Don't be scared. Now I'm 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 sure that it, that there's more going to come out later. I'll be thinking about that and I'll be Wah! in the middle of somebody's sentence. I'm sure. But um, are you okay? But yeah, <laughs> fine. Sure. What? <laughs> I'm really nervous. Nervous? No, I'm just, I'm just, I woke up just a little bit ago. Nice. Yeah, so, yes, the, I guess, you know, I enjoy that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm kind of boring, too, to be honest I'm with you. Like, say, I just, I, I mean, do music. I go home and I play, I just got an up, electric upright bass, and I, I go home, I play oh, music, right I write music, I record music, I come here, I now, write music, okay. I play music, I record music. It's like, it's like it dominates my life, and, and I also... I love to do like everything creative, and I think that they're all they're all vices because you know I do photography and I really love that and I get so into it. Mm, I do music, I love it. I'm so into it. You know? What kind of pictures you've been taking? I take all kinds of pictures, except it, my rule is that it's got to be art. So I I don't really do, I, mean, uh, I don't no, do porn. No, 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 see, no, <laughs> no. I'm, yeah. I'm not to say that. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Well, lots of different stuff. I that's mean, true. You're and I'm sure a the picture of a shoe, you know. That's true. How or, is you or, or a born? dick in a shoe. Come on, man. And, and a dick in a shoe goes. You that's, can think that's about like it being the sister born, the It's on the internet. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, there's probably somebody true. surfing through right now. Yeah. Rule 34. Like, website. Right? Is that right? Of, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what rules. But it's like yeah. somebody surfing through a shoe website. Oh yeah. There's. I'm sure there is. Yeah. There's true. I'm sure it's porn for somebody. Like it doesn't matter what it is. It's porn for somebody. Which is cheap. Which is cheap porn. Because all I gotta do is just go to a, like what's your shoe Steve shoes? Madden dot com or something, yeah. <laughs> Which those not, are sexy I'll shoes. Steve oh again. shit! Did that just come out? Do I like shoes as porn? No. no. Oh my Designer god! Designer shoe warehouse yeah. is the expensive site. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that, that on a crazy weekend when everybody's left, you know. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh Jesus! And you can really get down. Yeah, exactly. That is so wrong. So yeah. I see that every last one of you. I mean, you all are very passionate about music. You're yeah. passionate about beer. And there you use go. Some reason. Yeah, what else shoes. Need, really? I That's mean, right. Beer, music, and shoes. Beer, music, shoes. I mean, well, I like weed. You don't even need shoes most yeah. of the time. But, but you know, weed, music, That's everything. Plays, right? Yes. But y'all got, I mean, it's obvious that y'all really into it because I've heard the shit. The shit is off the hook. Y'all going to be hearing some of this shit here in a little bit. But, I mean... What drove you? What got you here? I mean, you, you, what, what did that passion come from? What did, um, you didn't just wake up going like, boom! I just love this shit. What happened? What, where, where did it come from? Hmm. Me personally? Yeah, all y'all. I ain't talking to just uh, you. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think there was ever just you know one, one catalyzing moment really. It was just more of I've always been into music. I've done it for a long, long time. So I mean, in various forms. You know, I was in band, like, uh, you know, orchestra or whatever. You played trumpet, played didn't trumpet, you? Played trumpet, yeah, I was in jazz band all through choir? elementary school, and I was never in a choir you until did college. That, but, yeah, but you did and that. I did for, like, a semester, but yeah. Um, I know that's wrong, because I did children's chorale when I was really young. Oh, really? Yeah. One of the most traumatic moments of my life. Really? Oh. Children's chorale, yeah. Ooh, this is the first I've heard of this. <laughs> okay, story. Yeah, <laughs> I want to hear Story time. Song. So in children's chorale, so we had to, we, we did the Renaissance Fair. And, Ooh, okay, I have to yeah. see the... Uh, it was brutal, man. It was brutal because I was, you know, I was like, uh, I was like 11 nerds. or 12. Well, I'm, always a I'm sure I was. Yes. Um, but we had to, uh, you know, we had to like dress up. So I dressed up as like a page boy or that's not right. Like what's a, what, what, what would you, you know, Squire? A squire. I dressed as yeah. a squire. In order to do it though, like I had to wear my mother's pantyhose, which just <laughs> totally ruined my life. Just destroyed me. It ruined my life and my, oh, my entire weekend. Good? And I got, oh, well, I look great. Nice. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, do you look good? Were they form fitting? <laughs> like, like, had the control top and everything. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Like, oh, I, got, I just got so much shit for it, you know? Uh, so it was it was awful. Nice. Oh. That's, oh. that's yeah. <gasps> kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you write a song about that? I mean, I that could, I all of his angry songs are about that. Yeah, moment. every single one. Every one of them. Track down to that one moment. 
All right, so we're, okay, out of all y'all, what's your favorite Vice song? Oh, right. oh man, that is wow. that is tough. That's gonna be. A, I'd probably go with For You All still. Definitely, Hero, definitely my favorite. Yeah. Hero's a solid track, man. I um, also like the lyrics a lot in Forever. So, but uh, For You All is my favorite to do. To do live to perform. Hero is the track that made me want to join the band. Like Hero is kiss. like the one that was like, uh. no, it was Hero. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I think just like listening wise, as far as like the emotions and everything, Go the Spoils is probably my favorite one. Nice. I hate every one of them. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just joking. See? No, that's good. See? I gotta tell you lyrically. Lyrically, I I, I like Go the Spoils. Yeah, too. lyrically, um, it's probably one of the it's, best. Solid. It, I, I enjoy it instrumentally too, and uh, I couldn't say that I nail one down. It's one specific favorite. I, I like different aspects of different songs. There's songs I like more than others for sure. But it all depends on the mood. It really does, you know. Like uh, unless you're in a happy mood, yeah. You know, what the hell do you listen to? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this next album will be just rainbows and and unicorns. There you rings. go, man. We're trying to go down the list. Butterflies with baseball bats and fairies with AKs. That's yeah. what we're getting from now, Vice's Iron Now we're getting Meyer. somewhere. Hell yeah, yeah. man. That's, That's how right. you. Do. That's happy. Yeah. It's fucking happy. happy. We could so it is. So, so I wanted, I wanted to answer your other question too. Like, uh, like he's got to answer too. But uh, like, like, what, what was your, what was the question? It was like, go ahead. Yeah, what, what makes you? Yeah, what do this? sparked what? you into doing this shit? Okay, yeah. you told you told me what made you want to join the band Heroes, but you're a drummer. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I mean, drum, not all drummers are weird. Look at him. He's not. And not all drummers are musicians uh-huh. either. Weird. Oh, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm strictly joking. Oh, shit. Yeah, I do oh, oh see, that was oh, just going <laughs> on. Ooh, that was mean. He gonna pee in your shoe later. You know now, that, he already right? shot me in the face with the rubber band. Maybe that's it. Maybe yes, that's good. Did you do it again today? That was like the second time. Today, I was like, yeah. he's, he's, he's a master of rubber bands, so. yeah, though. This impressive. guy can nail a target this big from across the room. So. I think we need to see that. Yeah. I don't have I don't walk around that arm. You should. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta get a license for that. It is shit. pretty impressive. <laughs> it is pretty impressive. Anyway, back to your non rubber band <laughs> slinging. Don't shoot me in the eye either. <laughs> I did uh, elementary band and I did uh, jazz band and then I did choirs and then I did like barbershop camps and then I did uh, percussion ensemble stuff and then I did high school drum line and then I did uh, drum corps and then I. How long you been playing, motherfucker? Bands. Wait, how old are you? Twenty one. 21? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I moved to Denver to pursue music professionally. But the reason I did all those things is because my entire family uh, are all musicians as well. So it was like out of the womb, into the music, and I don't understand how people can like grow up without like an appreciation for music and the arts, at the very least, you know, but I guess there are people like that out there. It was not a hard choice for me to get into any of that, so... Well, so even people who say they don't like music, they can't... That's, that's a damn lie. I'm sorry, I mean... they. You're raised around it. Level, you're going to yeah. hear it. You, it's going to happen. Whether yeah. you're a baby or whatever, I mean, it's going to happen. You're going to hear it. You can't say, you may not like all the music that you hear. That's one thing. That's true. Everybody got their own personal taste. Humans are wired to yeah. play, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's in us. I mean, everything we do, our heart beats to a rhythm. Bitch, get a clue. Yeah. Everything we do is like, so whoever said they don't like music? They're lying. Yeah, he said it. Yeah. Humans said, are wired to rhythm, specifically. And I'm not going to get into like how that's like why I'm a drummer because it's not. But um, I think it's why a lot of people like shit like Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus is because you have like those computerized beats and they're catchy, you know, and it's fun to uh, bob your head to and stuff. And people who don't even get into music, you're right, they do on some level like music, and so they'll listen to that stuff. And kids yeah, but this is not that stuff everything. Everything about the human body is rhythmic. The the heartbeat, the the sleep cycle, the the brain waves. Everything is so rhythmic that it's just physiologically embedded into us as creatures to be seeking patterns and rhythm and things like that. So it makes sense, you know. Wait, Y'all understand that saying? shit? He said it made sense. Y'all getting this? Y'all getting it? You, the music story. I didn't want to interrupt. So no, no, you're good. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Tell the music story. Uh, so so music for me. Um, for me music creativity and expression of that creativity is is not something I do it's something I am it's wired into my being I can't separate myself from it like I don't know it'd be like uh, I don't know pulling myself apart at the waist or splitting myself down in two and a half you know something like that so if I, somebody wants to steal your bass is just like cutting off your arm or and somebody I, with a pluck yeah. of strings like kicking you in the dick 
Yeah, so yeah, so, so nice. somebody somebody tries to steal a musical instrument from them, oh, it's on, from me. That is sorry, but yeah, so yeah, it's like. But anyways, that's it's just like for me, creativity is everything about me, and without it, I would be without just completely a, a, a part. It's not not even like without a limb. It's more like without a portion of my person, you know, like having half a frontal lobotomy or something like that. Um, and that's how I got into music. Yeah. Like what? How did we get into a final lobotomy? Are y'all really catching this shit? Cause I know I'm a little bit too hot for this right now. I ain't gonna lie. Get that. Where's your beer, man? It's right here. You need another one. There, there will be more coming, I'm sure. But yeah, it, uh, well, yeah. So, so for me, for me, that that expression of creativity really takes place in uh, it, it primarily music, and then I do photography too. But um, it's it, without. It's just just it is who I am, and it always has been who I am, and and, and it was it was. Before I discovered it, I don't think that I felt like I was just kind of wavering a lot. I mean, as a child, I was I was a happy child. I come from a great, awesome family, and and when I did discover music and I found talent in it, my parents were and still are incredibly, incredibly supportive of it. So it's it's great to be in a situation where I have support in that, and in a band that's awesome like this that's supportive of it. And your that parents we come to your show. Worked. Sometimes they do. Sometimes really? They do. Yeah. Your they parents do. rock out. I don't know. If they 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 appreciate it. I don't know if they rock out, but they uh, all of in their own way. Come to our shows. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Really? Parents yeah. do come there was to our one shows. time where they were all there once. I think it was at the Gothic. That was cool. Oh, for, uh, for the Western the Music I, Showcase. Yeah. Yeah. That's was either, fucking that was the cool, one man. That is so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the pre-party? I think it was that one then. Were my folks there that one? I thought so. That yeah, they might have been. That's cool. That was a solid show too. Yeah, that was a good set. That was a good set. Yeah, so music for me isn't more like, oh, this influenced me and I wanted to do it because I saw this or yeah, I like the idea of being a rock star. It's just, it's just is. So yeah, wait, 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 yeah, I want to be a rock star, right? I, it depends on what you call rock star because I usually use that term in a very derogatory sense, like you know. Okay, you want to make <coughs> money on this shit? I mean, yeah, honestly, I mean, what's driving money, you right now? I don't want to be. Are, no, 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 yeah. no. I want to be real. But check this out. Now, you guys are a great band, and y'all got a great sound. Y'all got killer talent. You guys are playing everything. You tour. You open up for like a wall nation and shit. That's right, right, right. Am I right? Am I right? You're right. Am I right? That's a fact. It did. That was a good show. Was so good show. yeah, that was a really good show. So my question is, yeah, god damn my tangent. Where y'all going from here? What's uh, coming up? Isn't that the question of the ages? Yeah, no doubt. That's Man, like it always is. It's like it's we <laughs> tell me your future. You know, Where's your we, crystal ball? Wish we had the answer to that. Yeah, man. I don't know, brother. Like it's a it's it's always a work in progress, you know. And um, Mickey and Mark left uh, a year ago. Well, more well, a year and a half ago. Yeah, year and right. seven months. Back in uh, January of 2012, they left. Um, you know, original drummer, original guitar player, and so you know, kind of derailed things a little bit because we had to find you know some uh, new musicians to work with. Luckily, yeah. we picked up Alex. We picked up uh, Tavis Alley, who left that this year in January, um, and then we found Scott. But you know, so it's a, it's a, it's always a work in progress. And you know, Mickey Mark kind of left right when we were hitting our stride, like right when we were. You know, we we just released Venom and Pride. You know, and we had released uh, uh, Politics of Apathy the year before that so you know we were moving we were really moving making things happen and then Mickey Mark you know had left to pursue other interests and it was fine you know totally understandable because we'd actually well we had been together for quite some time but uh, I still feel like we hadn't actually been doing it you know as I mean we, we've been d approaching it professionally but we hadn't uh, been putting everything into it for that long I mean we moved down to Denver like in 2007 then we lost our bassist and we you know took a year to find a new bassist and Dan and then we recorded an album, and then we released that album in 2010. So, like, all of our albums, all of our, the bulk of a lot of our work, you know, including that AWOL Nation show, has been in the last three years. Yeah. <laughs> That's that, and even though the name has been around for quite some time, when we did release our first album in 2005, you know, the, the band hasn't, uh, I feel, really been pushing that hard for very long. And so, I mean, it's, it's a work in progress. We learn more every day mm -hmm. about what we have to do here, about the things we need to change. And I'm not even talking about music even right now. I mean, it, writing music is a big deal, and we're doing that currently uh, with the goal to release a new album before the end of the year. 
Nice. Um, but but it, you know it's interesting uh, because that is that is such a small part of what needs to be done as a band. Yeah. And it's unfortunate, but it, it, it's true nonetheless because there's a lot of marketing that we're doing. Okay, now see, so let me interrupt you for a second. Now this is a great like little learning tool right here too because <laughs> this is an experienced band and it's coming from an experienced voice. These cats have been together for quite some time, like you said, like 2005. Well, two, well, I mean, the, the name has been around since 2002. Okay. Uh, Vices I Admire has been around for that long. Well, so Mike, Mike knows. Uh, however, yeah, like the lineup as it is now has only been around for a year and a half. Well, that's but see, that's going to be changes. <laughs> well, not but even like, that. Like, there's year. always going to be changes in everything. Yeah, well, it, so, I mean, it, yeah, there are. Yeah. You know. So you got to roll with the punches. You know. There you go. And you got to keep on uh, moving forward and setting your goals and trying to meet them. And then when when inevitably you don't meet them, then you make new goals. You got to build a bend. You have to build a bend. Future, with the future goals to constant course correction. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And if you can't do that, I think yeah. probably as any business, I feel like then you know then you're in the wrong business. Because it, it, making music, yes, we we do want to make this our living. We'd love to. I, I would love to. I'm not trying to be a rock in the wrong business. I I, I don't I don't want to be famous or rich necessarily. I just want to be able to do. What I love, support full yourself. Time. Do yeah. it. Like I want to, you know, yeah. I'd like to be able to support myself. Maybe a family too. Yeah. Um, there you do go. what I love, you know, full time. Uh, I mean, whether I'm making scads of cash or that I'm just, you know, making enough to creep by, you know, that's yeah. fine. As long as I can do it full time, I would feel extremely successful. Then. Yeah. And, and in some ways, I feel successful now too. I mean, it's nice that we, st but I still have a band to play with. You know, yeah. that I still have people that want to play with. You know, yeah. that want to play music with me. Um, that we you know we just released an album. We just released Fables of Man. That was a hell of a thing. Like yeah. that was so much work, but we did it. We pulled together. We made it happen. We recorded, produced. You know the, the entire album in this studio that we're sitting in right now. Uh, Dan, Dan actually did all the engineering on that. Um, so we nice. So we're making See, it happen. You are Jack all we're, fucking we're, we're doing, <laughs> Nice. We're doing we're doing everything. You know we're we're doing it ourselves and working hard. We do have I shouldn't say ourselves. We do have help in Shannon Calvin and Liz DeLuna. Yeah. Um, those Liz does our PR. Shannon does like everything else. So she, just, <laughs> she just merch and she yeah. helps with marketing. Yeah, she organizes help. Uh, yeah. She so, uh, does a lot. And, they, and you they find you find people yeah. here and there that you bring on. You know. It's uh, called a like connection, Mike's, Mike's helping us yeah. out right now. Like we, we do, you know, like it's, it's a connection. Let you know. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the team building. Music connection. It's it the really connection. is. That's what, and that's it what really it's is. all about. It and really that's what we do. That's what this is yeah. all about, man. Just like letting everybody know. That's what, and because hopefully people out there are seeing this, and they're going to think the same thing. And like I said, just like a bad head and shoulders commercial. You tell two friends. They'll tell two friends, and they'll tell two friends, and you know they got two friends that are snitches, and they know some more snitches, so everybody gonna be snitching on everybody. But this is a good snitch. Yeah. So snitch your ass off. Go tell everybody about this. Just let them know. You know, it, it like just to, to to reinforce what he's saying. You know, what what makes what makes an organization like a band because it is an organization. Is you got to have a team, and and as much as we like to do everything that we can ourselves, there's no way that we're ever going to be able to do everything that it takes to do what we want to do to get to the point where we need to be. And you got to build a team to do that. You know, you have to have PR, you have to have representation, you have to have, uh, you have to have uh, licensing and freaking placement, and and it's so ridiculous. I mean, and the music industry changes. Every year, literally. Oh, I like yeah. to say every two weeks because you never know what's going on. I mean, like, I, I don't know. It's it, it just does, weird. But I mean, two it, weeks is a fair. I mean, it's pretty fair. It does yeah, change. It changes so fast. Especially with the internet. I mean, there's yeah. so many different ways, like, put your music out yeah. there. And, and that's that's a double edged sword because now you have every band who thinks they can do it themselves and puts out absolute shit. Or even bands that are even fantastic and recording in great studios and have producers, they're putting absolute shit out there and you're permeated by it. So either it's either it's like... You're really feeling yeah, yeah, no, like, let this motherfucker go. I like yeah. go. 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 But go. That's, that's, See the, that's the problem. Okay, so you get, you, you, get, you get large organizations who still have cash and they're putting out music like... Justin Bieber, which is absolute shit. He don't like Bieber. We don't like Bieber. He don't like Bieber at all. And fuck a Bieber, man. Yeah, fuck a Bieber. It's, Bieber, yeah. Vaginas, yeah. Bieber, it, I mean, yeah. No. It's, it's like <laughs> everything Simon Cowell stands for, for the most part. Just, just like this, this ideal of of uber pop that's made to completely sell. It's it lacks complete aesthetics. It lacks. Artistic integrity. It's it lacks little, it's everything. It's a little packaged little thingy, you know, with a little ribbon on it, and you yeah. get you get to his point by going on a TV show and auditioning for someone yeah. 
famous and yeah. you're a singer. And, it's, it's and then just, the producers come in and tell you what you're going to be, and then, it's the, then the you're wrong. It's the wrong idea. Yeah, of how exactly. The music industry and, works. And, and they just form this little thing, and this is that's that's a little archaic. That's like this vestigial this. like appendix that's left on this dying dinosaur of the music industry. <laughs> I'm of a different Knock mindset. that appendix off. Well, well, let me finish. Let me finish. Like, really let let me finish. Like I, I don't like Beaver. No. Uh -huh. But let me finish. Let me finish. But I don't and, have and anything so, against him. And so you get, you get, that's just one example of many right. where you have, you have an organization that likes to like completely format everything that you hear, like terrestrial radio, for example. Like, like, what does it take for a good band that's local, that's not signed on a label, that's what just the working up? What terrestrial these, radio? Okay. Everything that's broadcast. Ninety three three. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, and and granted, yeah, they do a lot of local music. So, Rick so I'm not I'm not naming any names here, but there are these huge organizations that are like that say, okay, well, this is what we're gonna do, and you're gonna listen to this block of seven songs every day, and so if somebody puts it on the background and they're at work, that's what they hear, and then they don't have the time to go home and research and find all this new stuff, and when they do, they get permeated by crap that all these billions of bands think that well, they're I mean, something. There's another thing, too. So um, that's the other side of the sword, sorry. Kind of, kind of as a culture, I feel like we're a little bit, um, like we don't have any kind of attention span, really, I mean, when it comes to like national news events and the people who are big in the music scene and stuff, there's just these like exploding stars Wait, all over the place. what were you saying? Place. Sorry, I was paying attention. And you forget them, you know, a couple <laughs> weeks later, you forget the news story, like terrible shootings, you know, but yeah. then there's another one right around the corner. Yeah. Same with like musicians and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the music industry's lost a respect for uh, like developing a talent or developing an artist, sticking with a certain person and developing yeah. their sound and stuff. And they've lost their respect for like true music too, because it's easy to make a buck off of, you know, sex appeal. And, and stuff like that, and uh, uh, unfortunately, it's just gone to just gone. To, that's that's what it is. Yeah. That's, that's what's dominated. Well, that's that's what what it makes it really hard for people with been. talent to get anywhere. It, it really has. Yeah. Industry yeah. has it's, always been about making money. That's why yeah, it's, it's true. An industry. It's why it's yeah, industry. That's exactly Which what you got to keep that in mind. And, and like I, I mean, I mean, the industry sucks, and it's a shame, you know, and it's it's hard, and I agree with all that. Um, however. On the flip side, like I've I've got no beef, you know, with people making music, and even if they're doing it because somebody's telling them what to do or how to do it, somebody out there is digging on it. Somebody loves Bieber, you know, whether they are being lied to and they're being taught to like it. Somebody loves him. Yeah, yeah. And but he why does, is, what why he does, does that make loving legitimate though? It, I, makes it, it makes it non legitimate. No, I think the music. I, 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 oh as my long god. As making music, I think that's I think that's fantastic, and people listen to it great. That's I mean, the things I feel like it's not music, no, no, but no. they think it is, no, and they're misinformed. Of course, it's music. Yeah, I mean, it's and it's it's bad music. It's, well, to you, I mean, I mean, if you were to break no. it down aesthetically, yes. academically, okay. you could tell you could call <laughs> that bad okay. music. A couple oh, hundred years ago, can, hold up, hold up, guys. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. A because, very, because very short, short, short time, time span ago. academically yes, might be yes, good, yes, but yes. sounds like guys, shit. Guys, 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 I would guys, agree. Okay, guys, I would agree. A very short time span ago, just a couple hundred years ago, people were the entire you know musical culture was based around these genius artists, Beethoven, Bach. Mozart, okay, and yeah. that was like you had to be, you know, a genius to get by in the industry. You yeah. had to be, you know, absolutely incredible. And when people found out that, you know, boobs sell and, you know, <laughs> like drugs sell and what stuff like that, mean? it's just been a downward spiral. Well, what and what's I'll, happening right now compared like to any I other like actual, you're it down. it's not music. I'm not dumbing it, is it music. down. I'm going further it is. than you are. I'm of not course saying that everything is music. is music, regardless of whether it it's music. Or not. It's music. It's music. It is. I mean, no, it there's is. like an there's, there's electronic no, no, rhythm no. with like a naked <laughs> girl dancing, and she's like 12 years old, and she's singing "Baby, Baby, Baby." You're saying this. You're saying this very general, as if that is <laughs> all. Of don't the don't even give that. I don't even it. give that no, person. It's not. It's not. Uh, don't even acknowledge that individual. It's that not. Is awful. It's not. I mean, just because you don't like it doesn't make it music. Like, I'm sorry. Well, well, it's, it's, it's still music. music. Yeah. Just because no, you don't, yeah, yeah. Just you don't agree with the way it's produced doesn't make it, you know. No, I don't, I don't agree with anything. It's like by speaking about the name any, on any power, level. It's still it's music. Still die it's still out music. kind of thing. It's still, <laughs> what makes it music because someone's listening to it? No, because, well, because it is music. I mean, okay. It's bad music. What is the what is the exact definition of music? Does somebody have a smartphone to look it up? So it has, oh. it has rhythm, you know, okay. it has drums, it has, that, except that it's programmed. it has a melody, perfect, it has so a really melody and a harmony. Yeah, is it's it true? Music. Is it, it true? It makes it music? What's the definition yeah, of music? absolutely. Oh. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't that make it music? And, and how can you say it's not music? Uh, how else would you refer to it? 
shit. <laughs> <laughs> but see, there you go. It's to each his own. Because there is some music out somebody there that I can't somebody, stand. Okay, I'm sorry. How about I don't this? Like okay, okay. How about this? You know what? You're right. Oh, wait, how about you're this? Right. Somebody, you're right. No, 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 no. Somebody loves us, too. That's true. Yeah. And there are probably plenty of people that's, that's absolutely who think true. we are absolutely true. And you know true. what? You know what? You're, you're right. Maybe I shouldn't be angry at the artists or the, you know, the producers or the music industry itself. Maybe I should, which I really don't, have any faith whatsoever in the consumers. <laughs> Maybe I don't have faith in people. Uh, well, I mean, the, may I interject real I think, quick? I think more than Wait, anything. Wait, you need to tell me because what if the it's hell up to the listeners, if, if there's Let's somebody out there listening to it, and that Wait, makes hold it, we're gonna have the definition of music. It's not. I wish it was. At least not. At least not yet. I mean, we're, we're slowly gaining ground. Just one. Just organized one. Organized sound. Yeah. Organized. Sound. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. So yeah, organized sound. Okay. So, but but okay. What you were saying is that you don't have faith in the consumer. One of the things that I always think is going to be it's an interesting. I, I always find that the second that you lose faith in a group of people or humanity, for example, they'll always come back and surprise you with something. So never underestimate the, uh, the, the intelligence of people, even though as a group they have done some pretty... So yeah, never underestimate the intelligence uh, look at, look at, look at of the KTCL stupid. KTCL and, and how they let their listeners like choose I a lot think of that's songs. Just what he just I said. mean, you know, Mumford and Sons, and I'm trying to think of other bands. It's interesting how they've changed up. over the years as they a result of that. Mowgli, the Mowgli's. Yeah, yeah. Like these are bands, you know, that uh, I feel like the listeners have chosen. At least, at least they're giving the opportunity to. Whether or not those bands were first picked out by yeah. some. It's got to be know, conglomeration some, uh, of both uh, corporate uh, and. Music sure, but, but still, I think he lets our listeners do it, and so you know that's yeah. kind of what's dominating the radio now, uh, per listener choice, and 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 while I don't think that consumers are making the choices because obviously somebody is the, is out there and you know promoting this music and yeah. putting money behind it and distributing it to get it to the I point mean, where Bieber they even wouldn't be to where it, yeah. he is without a lot of money behind him. Like, yeah, that's obvious, and you'll get it's, no debate from me there. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I um, why does he deserve money more than we do? I don't. know. Well, I mean, if it comes down to that, just because you know, it's music, I mean, just because it happens to be music. <laughs> well, no, you're 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 saying it like I said that he does, and I didn't say that. Oh. Well, I'm wondering. Well, okay. Well, I see, like, <laughs> like, no, I want you. I feel like you really think like I'm arguing that yeah, Justin Bieber's the shit, and he's so cool. You guys shouldn't bag on him. It's not that at all. I'm just saying he's music, and people like him. Now, does he deserve money over us? I mean, you know, you're making it very personal like that. Of course, I wish that we had more money to do what we did. Um, and does Bieber, who potentially, and honestly, I don't know a lot about him, um, but I imagine he probably has like a host of producers and people around him telling him what to do, maybe writing the songs for him, maybe not. I'm sorry. Mostly writing Justin, the songs for him. I don't know. Maybe he writes them all himself, you know? That'd be great. I have no idea. But if, if not, you know, if like if, if he's out there and he, and well, I know he has a team around him at least, tells him what to wear, tells him how to look, how to act, I'm sure of that. Yep. And we don't, and you know, it'd be great to have some of that. Um, no, maybe why? we need yeah, it. Good. Maybe we need we'll it. We'll finish no, this conversation not, not, pretty, thing, not, not, not about telling us what to look, but you know, having a team that like helps. Like, okay, like, what if we didn't have to do all the marketing ourselves, you know? What if we had other people to help with that, yeah. you know, to, to run our blogs, like, to run our internet presence? Like, my God, we'd have so much free fucking time just yeah. to do whatever we wanted. Yeah. And we don't have that, you know? So, yeah. based on work ethic alone, does Bieber deserve it more than us? I mean, I don't, and without I, knowing more, yeah, well, I would have to say, I wasn't, no. I wasn't trying to boil it down to work ethic, but oh. I, I will say this, maybe, like, maybe he does, maybe he busts his ass. I think it is this. I think I can boil the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, he spits at his fans and puts people off. <laughs> See, I knew that was going to come up. I knew um, that shit was going to come up, man. So I, I knew it was going to come up. I think you could boil the whole thing down to something very simple. I did. I knew it was going to come up. Justin Bieber, right? There's there's the Bieber, which is he's the scape... He's the, you know, the... the you know, whatever. He's the whole image of, like, the he's pop culture for me. For, yeah, yeah. He's for the shitty Bieber. Music. Yeah, yeah. Um, the and Bieber. he's, you know, the, the package... The Beebs? He's the package microwave dinner, The you know? Beebs? Sure, sure. And that, that's what he is. Cool, it might be music, It's the whatever. Beebs, then Tay-Tay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who the fuck is Tay-Tay? He's, you know, Taylor. He's, like, he's he does that way too good, man. He has a ridiculous <laughs> amount of fans. Um, he is, you know, at the top of, like, the pop culture and the music industry right now. Sure. And, uh... Out there, there are people who are going to Juilliard, and there are people who are studying their whole lives. There are people taking Berkeley. part in different organizations. Yeah. They're learning yeah. musical theory. They're developing their talents. And they're, they're becoming, becoming Lady extremely Gaga. talented yeah. people. No, 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 no. They're becoming extremely talented people, and they're like us. And I'm not saying that we're you know crazy, crazy ass fucking talented, and we're you know so great and everything. Yeah. But I'm saying they're in our position where it's fucking ridiculously hard. To get anywhere in this industry that you want, that you need to be in, in order to get money to sustain yourself doing yeah. it, uh, and I think now. it's because people have been trained to to prefer the the 
what's the readily accessible. Well, that's but, what, do you think, no, do you it's think just, it's just gimmick? not fair. There's a problem somwhere. Wait, and you, you have think to it's a gimmick? Do you well, think there's a, a problem somewhere? I know what the problem is. Because look at all. I mean, I know exactly what the problem is. People look like a bitch. Gaga, we don't know what the fuck she is. I mean. No, he has the answer. What, what do you say? <laughs> Barbecue Lady Gaga? I'm sorry. I'm stuck on Lady Gaga for right now. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Yeah. Hey, I like Lady Gaga. Me too. I like that one song by her. I like a few Gaga. songs. Oh, what the fuck like is it, man? I mean, is she a chick? <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm she's good now. Yeah. She's, I just wanted to know. What well, dude? Lady. I never knew she's what the fuck it was. Gaga. Dude, she's nobody lady. has hair this long and looked like a crayon Crayola dip. No, nah, dude. No, nah, I didn't know what the hell that was. Victoria's Secret, my ass. No, she, she, Whatever. she, she's a chick. She's, she's a, a chick. chick. Yeah. And she went to Juilliard. Did she? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, dude. Well, yeah, she's you know, brilliant. It's just, interesting that you bring up. There's a reason that talented people struggle like voice, more right? than yeah. Justin Bieber, who isn't talented, does. And it, there's a problem there. What's the problem? It's, it's distribution. It's money. It's, it's all money. about yeah. it's all yeah. money. That's what I was saying earlier. And, they, and you said there's you don't blame people for making money. I didn't say that. I didn't blame him for did. playing I music. I never said that. Well, I thought you said you have nothing against. And, I, and, and I also wouldn't blame it. people for making money. I mean, whatever. Like, uh, Justin, an Justin was in the right place, at the right time. I don't think it's necessarily his fault. You know, I mean, if if you're gonna be angry at him for who he is, yeah, he like, does he, not he, like the beef, know, man. He's okay. Boiled it down with three different ways for you guys. What's the problem? It is. It's money. It's distribution. It's it's promotions. If if somebody had enough money Blood behind it anymore, mm -hmm. they could um, they potentially can make enough money. Blood. Now they do one, hedge one their direction, all they do things. hedge their bets, yeah. you know, what like One Direction, like Justin for? Bieber. It's Justin crap. Bieber uh, does have Blood the on a to, dance. You know, That's a band. Up, right? He yeah. can is play some guitar. So he no, so he is a good investment because he's also what the young ladies want to see. Maybe some older ladies too. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> those nasty ass bitches. He's a good Coopers. investment of money. He's a good investment of money, and that's that's what it is. But now, and I'm not saying that we're not. But if had we, if, have, enough, we, if we had that much money behind us, if you have, course, you if you have enough money, you of can market course, anything. Yeah, there's a reason that we don't. And it's because it just people depends on how much you have. Well, it's because well, how do we tell? Because I, I think even know? if we had that much money, sure. we couldn't force go. Bieber's listeners to listen to our music. Oh no, no, no! Hold uh, on a second. Hold I think it's a program. So let me let me interject. How they're programmed? If I may, if, I may. Yeah, please. if you have enough money, you can market anything effectively. Sure. Anything. Sure. It doesn't matter yeah, what it is. You can reprogram You could. You could. You could absolutely. You can reprogram. You like, like Bieber, probably. Yeah. But you sound like you. <laughs> do you, you want to hit him? How much money are we talking? about? you want to hit him? You sound like you want to knock the shit. If you had enough money, yeah, you do. You want to punch the shit. Yeah, if you had enough money, you could take Porcupine Tree's listeners and turn them in, like turn them into Bieber fans or vice versa. Porcupine. Well, maybe not, not vice versa. You could turn Bieber fans into Porcupine Tree fans. I mean, no, I believe you. I believe yeah. you. Absolutely. You have to have them start playing. They're a, they're a prog band from music England. That's similar to Porcupine Tree. They're and throw them on kind of together. A band. musician's band, I guess. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's a fan of them. I have got introduced to them. I know what you guys are saying. And that and that is. I'm trying to say that it's unfair, and I feel like you guys are justifying it instead of being angry about it. You're angry about it. That isn't what you said. My God, whoever said that? You guys are so complacent. I'm not complacent. Oh, it's cool. We're really talented. We're never gonna get anywhere because everyone likes Justin Bieber. But it's not his fault. He's really a sweet guy. <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, good for him. Good for good him. For good, good for him. him. That's all I gotta say. He's going places. Good for him. <laughs> oh my god, dude! How did we I swear to god, this? I don't know! I'm sorry. I actually got, uh, no! How did we get into uh, this whole thing? No, dude, this all started with what makes you want to do music, and that was it! And y'all said, all the maybe, fucking uh, way! Maybe I'm you no, should try different Y'all say, I tangent? <laughs> did you hear that shit? Oh my god, man! We, Thank you. But okay, I yes. swear to God, dude, I am never going to introduce you to Justin Bieber. Not without <laughs> bail money. <laughs> not without bail, bail money, dude. Or Justin Bieber. You, you, are, you are welcome on either side. You're going to you 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 Superman. Yeah, you're going to Superman. 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 You're going to yeah. yeah.
All right, work, work, cool, yeah. cool. And we're work, we're writing it right now, so like, yeah. uh, we've we've got a couple songs that are that are pretty heavy, like kind of harken back to an earlier vices I had. My, I feel like I said harken we, before. You did. We harken, 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 I think is Which means know. September next year, probably. Yeah, September next year. Yeah. Right, joking. Well, okay, y'all got to <laughs> <interesting. laughs> I see, okay, for, first of all, you know, I don't know if y'all can see. Move, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see, but there's, like, instruments and shit. Mm-hmm. And, and drums and stuff. And <laughs> I, I, since y'all can see me, I know y'all see all the goddamn lights. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is have my man put me on a break real quick here. You can't right. see me? Yeah, well, motherfucker. You're, you're right behind the harky, so sometimes... You just look like a black box. A black box? Yeah. Oh, really? You want a break? Yeah, I want a break. 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes left? So the show's over. Are you serious? We're still live. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. We only got 15 like, minutes. Mike. Dude, That's I'm sorry. Medium, we were supposed to, like, break, like, 15 minutes ago. I told you motherfuckers we were going to do some shit. Well, you know what? Yeah. Y'all yeah, got to play some music. Justin everything's blowing up on Facebook, too, by the way. So you guys share that. I've been posting this. Really? See, and I still don't know. See, can y'all See? tell us how See? that motherfucker got so, to Justin Bieber said, in the no, first place? Sing, that's not music. Oh. Uh, someone said, fuck Bieber. Someone here. Nice. I like that guy. He's a good musician, but he doesn't deserve all the attention. No one does. That's from Shaw It looks like Gibson everyone agrees there, with from, me. Uh, Carmella. Car- Caramel oh, Carmella, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice. Thank you, Carmella Carmelo. I think you motherfuckers are good. I'm sorry. I'd rather see you motherfuckers than, than uh, what's her name? Bieber. Yeah. And actually, I think you guys would make a really good combo, so y'all need to connect. That would be it's fun. a connection. Let's do that. That'll be fun. That'll Call be these fun. motherfuckers. Ring them up. They got, like, PR people and Parkinson's and all kinds of shit. <laughs> Parkinson's. We do have Parkinson's. Parkinson's. Oh, Harkin. Har- Harkin. We have Parkinson's. They are Harkin-ing. Harkin-ing. <laughs> So, Carmelo Harkin back. Yes. Hook up with these motherfuckers. Oh, and when y'all play a show, I ain't paying to get in. Uh-uh. No. Yeah. I'm hooking y'all up. This is a Makes fucking sense. love connection. With like cords and mics and sticks and shit. I like that. that yeah. Docking that thing. Docking yeah. thing. I was just gonna say, now it got awkward. You know? I yeah, got a text from Shannon that said it's getting really awkward to uh, really? watch this with their kids. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, 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 Oh, man, there's kids oh, watching this. Yeah. Oh, dude, I am She's so gonna smack sorry. She's if gonna you smack go, me. Man, if you go to school saying any other shit that you heard on this broadcast, ooh, dude, I swear, ooh, oh, I, man, Santa ain't bringing you shit, so you better be good. Don't be repeating anything you hear from here. I know Santa. I got the nigga on speed dial. Yeah. <laughs> he owes me $25. <laughs> <laughs> and a G.I. Joe. Yeah. But, uh... So y'all got y'all got shit in the works here that's going to be happening here in December. Y'all got something coming out in May. Okay. We yeah. released it. Released it in May yeah, this year. Oh, you yeah. released it. The in last May. album came out in May. Yeah. The yeah. last album came out in May. Okay. Our fourth album. That's our right. fourth album. Yeah. So okay, can y'all play us a little bit while we? I mean, yeah, we got 15 minutes, man. So no, play us a song. Yeah, we probably don't have time to actually. Got, get it. You ain't got an acoustic set or something. Y'all got. I brought my guitar home last night. I don't even have my acoustic here. Oh my god, dude, I hit you so much right Let me get that away, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, you bastard. So that means I'm getting to see That's right, we still have a lot more to say. Yeah, you do. What you got to say? Holla at the fool, man. I don't know. Let's, let's, go let's, make, a, let's no. make a plug. Go to bandcamp.com and search for us and listen to our music there. Go to Vice's I Admire dot Bandcamp dot com. Okay, so that's Vice's I Admire. See, good, but I go to Vice's I Admire. Well, just go to Vice's I Admire. You got to make shit all hard, drummer. Yeah, I, I tried to make it easy. That's a longer URL, but I feel like it's easier to remember. Vices I admire. Oh my God! You know I'm gonna quit picking on you because you just keep making these dumbasses look smart. I mean, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, dude. No, I'm done picking on you because yeah, you're right. They're wrong, and I'm just I'm I'm sorry to all the drummers out there that really want to stick like a snare up my ass right now. My oh, apologies. Geez. I don't mean to be dissing Sorry, Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> no, it was Shannon. I was talking to her. Oh, yeah, you were checking, checking your phone during the interview? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, was I, was talking talking Shannon. I was talking to Shannon. Jesus, she can hear me. I can read her. You were talking at Shannon. Yes, I was. <laughs> okay, she says she's not Googling anything, just so you know. 
Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shannon. I did not know you had kids. Who is Shannon? Shannon Shannon is, is our mercy role and she helps with the PR. She yeah. does a lot of representation. She does a ton oh, of stuff for us. So she is now. She's awesome. So yeah, she's I love you, yeah, Shannon. So, she and Liz DeLuna do she a lot. She and Liz DeLuna, yeah. yeah Liz yeah. DeLuna, are you watching uh, Liz? What's up, Liz? How yeah. you doing? You're doing a great job with these guys, but you know what? Yeah, I need to come up to Fort Collins and play a show up there for real, man. We just I mean, did. Yeah, you did? Oh, show. fuck you First guys. First one in when? 20 years. It's been, oh, when? No idea. Yeah, yeah for a long time, man. We played it uh, last, last weekend? Last weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but the showcase room. Oh, did you hear that yeah. shit? Jesse Solomon's place, the showcase yeah. room, is where we played. Who the fuck is Jesse Solomon? Oh, you got me, Jesse. Uh, Fort Jesse. Collins Academy Jesse. Guitar. Jesse's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. Uh, his, his place, but it's... Huge, and he his built warehouse. his own. Uh, he built his own venue in there, and it's it's incredible. And we played oh, there like a couple weekends ago. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. It's outstanding. It's one of the better venues in Fort Collins. Hey, yeah, I didn't get a hold on. It is kind of on the outskirts. See, 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 no call, call. Nah. no flowers, sure, no, call. no, flowers, no yeah. nothing, man. I don't, I don't get Dang no that. handcuffs, no fur coats. I don't get nothing from these fools, dude. See how they treat me? You see how they treat me? I give them love. I bring out like stuff. <laughs> stuff well it's pretty hard to deny when you feel like that yeah I mean <laughs> come on man it's well like, said I, you know I, I, I'm I, out there dude I care about you fuckers and y'all didn't even tell me I'm a hey, cry hey beer's here we'll make it happen next beer's time beer's here right in time for the last five damn man oh look see you know who I can count on I can count on Sherelle yeah Cheryl. this is Sherelle people right. This is Sherelle. Yeah. Sherelle, say hi. This is the back of Sherelle's right. head. Oh, yeah, that's what you see. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you see when that's like when that shadow came through and that all you could see was hair. Yeah. So look at that hair. Oh, come here. You gotta show oh. these people the hair, man. Come on, okay. man. You gotta oh, peep shit. out the way. Here, give me this okay. shit before you like start jumping. Look at the hair. Oh. Look at that. Is that some shit Cheryl? or what, yeah. man? No way. <laughs> I don't want to sell him that lap. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sherelle's awesome hair, dude. I it's wish not even I good today. I didn't know hair. there was gonna be a camera and that I'd be. Like, I told you I was gonna be live streaming the, the damn broadcast. I mean, come on, man. There's a lighter in that pocket. I'm glad that you have ample lap. Now, Sherelle, oh, I, Sherelle I, tell I, everybody what you what you do with the band. <laughs> what do I? I piss off the band. That's what I do. <laughs> she lives, lives at our house. Yeah. She rocks out to our music and she's she puts up with us. Us. She no. puts up with the band. She puts up with the casting bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. The band puts up with me. Definitely. So you go, you all go to their shows? Not all of them. Not all of them? I've been to a couple. I've been to as many as I could. Right now, so what, how are they live? Badass. They're so, like, energetic. They're, I mean, they're, this, oh my god, this is weird. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really fun. I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter how many people there are in the audience. They're always, like, 100% energy. So, it's really cool. Because even whenever it's just me, there's, like, 100%. It's awesome. Cause it's like a personal yeah, show. She's been to Rock Out yeah. before. Because I love it. At first, yeah. I thought it was bothering them, but I think they kind of like it. So, it's good. It really, <laughs> no, it really boosts the energy. I'm like, ooh. And then she comes out. I'm like, look <laughs> yes, at this. We have a fan. Yeah. Fun. It we does. It makes it. It's in the fact that she's so enthusiastic about it, like, rocking out over there, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah it feels back so good. It's like that with a show, too. You know, if you get a good crowd, it's, it's amazing how it can feed back. You know, you get more energy and you feed it to oh, me. Yeah. It just feeds back. Are you going to drink these beers and you're just going to hold Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? No. You know, this is what she's good at. This is what this is what Sherelle does. It's Sherelle really gets the question. beer, man. <laughs> you know, you right. answer the question right when you Here walk through the door. My bag, I'm holding up the Thanks, show sir. and shit. They... See, look at this. Look at this. Thank this you. is how the unity what? in the band. Mine's still up there. Unity. Unity in the band. Yes. Here. This is for you. No. That's the power for you. Yeah, this is for the producer of this shit, the motherfucker that put it all together and got it all the way down there. Oh my God! Wait a minute. First of all, I gotta say this is why I'm. This is another reason why I am so happy that I made it down here. We drove down from fucking Fort Collins. Y'all know that because I ain't at home. But dude, oh my. God. It was raining. We had these crazy ass asshole drivers on the road, dude. Crazy, <laughs> crazy dude. Oh my, I mean, it's, okay, it's raining, right? We're doing 75 going faster than we should. And we got these stupid motherfuckers just driving like, Ew! doing like 90 in the rain. And they're like, they're like drifting and driving, slipping and sliding <laughs> away. And I'm just waiting for one of them just going like, woo, 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 but it never happened. So nobody died, we luckily. Good. Yeah, huh? We were hoping. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna say I was hoping that somebody's gonna die, but goddamn, could you imagine <laughs> a wreck in a rain? That would have been like oil all down. It would have been pretty. I mean, tragic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but really, really beautiful. But no, that didn't happen. Has a lot of connotations. It's not always uh, happy. 
<laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Even a beautiful disaster is happy. I mean, come on, man. Haven't you ever seen Miley Cyrus on MTV? <laughs> Yeah, I said, I said it. I said it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I heard it. No, we uh -uh, well, we just got all beaver. We're not about to go on another fucking thirty-five minute rant on uh, Miley Cyrus. That was enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give her the time. Well, the thing is, like, I just well, did that exact same thing, like on like my radio show last night. I was like, yeah, beaver's not. I've seen all the radio. 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 I'm not gonna badmouth Miley Cyrus, but we're just gonna say the commercial music maybe isn't the best thing. Oh, I'm just gonna go down that road. Holla! Wait, you got it. You got an internet radio. No, it's well, not internet. Well, internet is terrestrial. Money, I would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> okay, we're telling everybody now. Terrestrial money. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We just now. agreed on hey, something when it comes to Bieber. If we had the money that he has, we would do terrible things, just I'd like he does. Fans too. Yeah, yeah, we definitely. Fuck you. He spit on the fan? I would, I would not. I would not. I'm just Oh, you're a damn liar. Wait a minute, man. No, no. All right, hold on now. We're getting out of time. What? People are mad about being spit on by Justin Bieber. I'd say Wouldn't you? Yeah. Is that what happened? I catch it in the show. I was like, okay, <laughs> no, no, wait, all right, so, wait, wait, so you mean to tell me yeah. if somebody yeah. was to spit on you or you looked up and you saw Justin Bieber, you'd be like, oh, you motherfucker. Okay, did he oh, like hey. hop a loogie down on somebody or did he like drink and spray? No, he just, he hocked a loogie, oh, that's dude. gross. That's oh, yeah. disgusting. Wait a minute, so what, oh, so you take a spray? You've never been to like a rock show and like oh, the guy spit on you. I hate that. I hate that. Well, even me too. I hate that. That pisses me off. If you're close enough. <laughs> I think that's disgusting. It bothers me. I'm, but I'm OCD. But that's one. I mean, it was... I mean, okay, because when you... I, no, I'm sorry. Because when I thought you were talking, I thought you were talking about, like, you know, Rocket coming up there and looking at somebody and take a drink. Or, yeah, exactly. Or, just kind of a spray, yeah. yeah. He just, like, yeah. purposely yeah. spit yeah. on somebody? No, I no, guess, no. Yeah. I, I don't know. And you into I that? Mean, it was so, cool. It was kind of cool. Okay. Like, actually spit on Who the fuck spit on you? Okay, so... I, I went to like a Some Dirty Few, have you heard of them? Arrested. Dirty Few, they're a local band, and then like Residual Kid. They're these, and they're, they're like 13 and 15 I years old. Like, uh, kids like in these bands, and they totally did it. Oh, yeah, like the different. other band did awesome. it first. Yeah. But they're like, and the kids did it, and they're like, I'm really sorry for spitting you on you guys, but it's really fun. And it's like, you've seen people do that. Rock stars think they I can spit that. on people. I just, I hate it. I, I can't, I can't abide that, man. That just pisses me off. I'm, no, man. I ain't, no, man. No. No. Maybe I just want to indulge in the behavior. Yeah, that, hey, that's cool. I mean, that's you. That's you. Hey, honey, I like getting branded, but, you know, I'm not about to get spat. Oh, no, figure that shit out. Huh? It was a spray. It was oh, yeah, like... I, don't, I don't even want to start that. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, 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 no. Okay, see, we done gone way off the... Like, we had a fucking track to begin with, but we've gone way off track from... Yeah. I have no idea what we started, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna bring. No, we not. No, no, <laughs> no, we're not. We got th well, we three. So three we'll take minutes. a short break and come back. No. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna leave you. Two minute going break. Going okay. <laughs> so this go? is what we're gonna do. No, 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 no. Oh. Sit your ass down, girl. You only got Miley three minutes. Oh. Yeah, I am not doing Miley Cyrus, dude. I'm sorry. I mean, I. Yeah, that's dude. just that's. Don't even, don't even speak the name. Yeah, I can't say she it, but you know that she has been fucking Snoop and Pharrell. She's been fucking fear super Fear of the friendly. name only increases fear of the object itself. Oh, really? Crap. <laughs> Where the God fuck did it. you get that from? Harry, Harry Potter. Potter! Okay, <laughs> of course. I yes! That, that was right. so bad. Yes! That was even better! Shit. Yes. Like, that high five deserves a high five. <laughs> no, no more high fives. <laughs> no, okay. that, dude. It was solid, it was. Oh my God, okay. dude. I love this. This <laughs> is what, this is, uh, this is like, this is Denver. It's this is favorite. Denver. This is why I love this fucking city. <laughs> me too. I mean, yeah, I got some people down here that, you know, just absolutely love me to death. This yeah, is my that's basement. a nice way of saying it. I just came it. down here. This is your basement. See, we in her house, you know. This is her that's house. Not what I meant. This is his house, his house. This is yeah, his house. This is his house. This is, well, actually, it's all their house. house. Yeah. This is all their instruments. This is uh, me. This is my show. This is the Bong and Blog. And sooner or later, this is going to be me saying goodbye. <laughs> I will see you motherfuckers next time. Oh, wait. No, nice. check this shit out. Yo, man, next week. I forgot. I might as well tell you motherfuckers now. It's going to be Germani on the bitch. And now I'm going to be at home and shit, too. So it's... Yeah, I guess that's... that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so <laughs> just check it out. Next week, Germani. Thursday. Same bad time. Same bad channel. 
unless I get drunk and stupid and forget something, then y'all can just yell at me again like you did last time. <laughs> but I'm still gonna say it ain't my fault and quit leaving me alone. You're not my fucking dad. You can't tell me what to do. Eat a dick. But no. Or a bag of dicks, or right? Bag. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that, there's a kid watching. We will not be oh, saying anything about please. a bag of dicks. Not, not a bag. Not there a was bag. Some banter about that earlier. A box or a bag. Colorful. What's I think really? why you <laughs> talking about a bag of dicks? <laughs> Were y'all really talk about a bag of dicks earlier? Yeah. What was I at? No, no, you were there for part of it at least. You were there for part of it. Yeah. Were you? No, he wasn't there for that part. Oh, so this one on the show that y'all talking about about. Oh, okay, oh, good. I was about to say, I know I was not that hot when I came really? down here, man. There is no way I missed a conversation about a bag of dicks. That just got just like, <laughs> woo, fly over my head. And like, <laughs> this, 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 what, oh, bag of dicks. Wait, what? Loretta Bobbitt is at it again. <laughs> she's got a bag. She's got a, a whole bag. bag. Yeah. It's a burlap sack yeah. that's full. That's oh, always what God. I picture. Yeah. <laughs> like a dirty burlap sack, oil exactly. stain, blood uh, dripping. Yeah. Oil oh. Just oil. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oil Is that going to be your next music video? Oh, it's nice. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, there's a video like that. That one that you showed me, that metal band. Where that like, Japanese metal. Yeah, where they're like... Just, it's having, like gore metal? Yeah, come on, man. You that was crazy. It was so foul. Oh, it was, it was like... It was catch so people like... Stabbing each other and <laughs> silencer bassist uh. X band of once had a music uh. video. Where what, 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 what? They were just like bleeding entrails all over each other's <coughs> so There's a couple of like well, after they cut each other up and like there's and yeah, there's oh, that's just weird. Up. That's just weird. I don't get that. What the that's, fuck? that's what our next music video is gonna be though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> no be you know what? That shit ain't going up nowhere, man. You ain't putting them up. No, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, that's damn. I gotta go. Love you, motherfuckers. Sorry if I offended anybody, but honestly, no, I'm no, not. No, you're not. I knew it. No, no. I tried that shit last time. Oh, and Boulder, I can't wait to see you motherfuckers from the DRD when I do see y'all. And then I maybe apologize to y'all, but until then, I still love you, Cass, but fuck Boulder. But gotta go, man. Love. And don't forget, y'all. Stay connected. Yeah. Peace.